Hello, this is Questionable Coding with Vladimir and today we're going to talk about an extremely useful data structure called MAP. I think you'll like it, probably you're already using it in production code or during interviews, but if, uh, if you don't, then yeah, keep more attention to that. So uh, the usual advice is to uh, start any algorithmic task with an idea if I can use MAP here. Uh, if you can, probably it will uh, solve the task for you. If not, you will have to come up with something else or com combine map with, uh, with different approaches. But let's uh, stick to the plan. At first, we'll cover the general description of the map. Uh, we'll go through real-world examples. We'll see what common methods um, are usually created for map. And uh, also, we'll implement it in two ways. First, with built-in uh, just object and then with built-in data structure code also map which appeared uh, not, not so long ago. So let's start with, with the definition. At first we need to figure out about the naming because it may be very confusing. Uh, for me it was pretty confusing. There are a lot of names that describe the same concept or almost the same concept but today we're gonna cover three which are interchangeable. So first, map, we will call this data structure map because it's a more modern name um, of it. Maybe it came from mathematics, I'm not sure. But also there are two more outdated ways of uh, calling map. It's associative array and dictionary. So we'll use these terms as interchangeable, even though some people may argue that one uh, or another term has uh, a little bit difference in uh, implementation or in some rules of uh, setting values. So uh, map is a key value data structure. It means that uh, we have a key and associated value to, to that. And uh, you can imagine a simple array. Uh, in simple array, you have n n numeric keys like 0, 1, 2. And here you can have um, a text key or, for example, more complex key. Like uh, you can put the entire object as a key. But usually it's, it's just a string. So this uh, key, which uh, is unique, so you won't find any other key like that in, in the map. Uh, it has an asso associated value. So if you have a purpose to map some value to some key, the map data structure will be the one to go. For example, when we are talking about uh, set da data structure, we don't have any value. We just have keys and we operate with them. But for map, it's key value. Uh, the simplest map example is a dictionary, so it's an alternative name of, of the map. And a uh, dictionary, it, it just has a key, the word itself, and it has a description as a value. So there, there are multiple operations which uh, are exactly the same as we listed for sets. Uh, standard ones are uh, set, delete, has. So set is, it can be called in different ways. Can we call add, but we just set a new value for the key. If the key doesn't exist, then we create the key and uh, assign a value. If it, it's already there, uh, we usually overwrite it. Sometimes we can throw an exception, but I don't see such examples too, too often. Also, delete will delete the key and the value, and has will check if there is a key and associated value uh, for this key. So, Optional uh, methods are is empty, size, map, clear. We already covered it uh, when we uh, talked about sets, so you can just revisit this video. Uh, but I think it's pretty straightforward what, what we have here. Complexity. Complexity is the best part of the map. So uh, once again, we are uh, trying to do operations with a specific key, so we already know uh, what to insert, what to delete, and for what we are searching for. And it differs uh, from other situations when we don't have an exact key. For example, when we have to find the maximum element in an array and we don't know which element is it. But here we have a situation when we already know the key. And yeah, for, uh, because of that, we can have an ex uh, insertion complexity big O of 1, which is just perfect. Uh, deletion, also big O of 1, and search big O of 1, which usually is the most helpful thing uh, about maps. You can search uh, without any effort, without uh, wasting uh, any time. So that's perfect. Let's go uh, through the implementation and 
we will first start with the plain implementation in JavaScript using just objects. So I prepared a class called MyMap, which already has uh, method, methods that we want to see here, and we'll just fill them. And, and uh, what, what we have here is a bunch of tests. So we create a new map, we console log an empty map, we set a couple of values, we console log uh, map once again, and also we check the key. If it's there, we get an element by key, we delete the key, and we double check the size afterwards. So we will just validate it by launching the, the entire file. Okay, so what we want to do here, at first we want to create a property called data we'll, where we'll hold all the data. And we'll use just a simple uh, JavaScript object for that. Another thing is size. Uh, we'll track the size of our data structure, which also will introduce a little bit complexity, but it will be very straightforward. So. Uh, what, what do we want to do here? At first we want for set, we have a key and value, and we want to check if there is uh, a key already in the object. We could only overwrite it and not check if it's there, but uh, we can track size if we want to check it. So we need to increment it only if the key wasn't uh, there. So how, how, can we, how can we check that the key is there? We'll use has own property has some property key and if it's there then we just uh, increment the size and in both cases we'll overwrite the data or add the data depending of if it, the key is there or not and value okay uh, delete is super straightforward we just delete this uh, data key. Oh no, we, uh, once again we need to check it to decrement the size. So once again I'll just copy that. Once again if the property is there we'll decrement the size and in both cases we'll delete. Yeah we can just do it in, in one thing because if it's not there we shouldn't delete anything. Okay. Uh, next thing we're gonna do is we will check if the key is there and this one will be short. We'll just return the has on property result to be already used. So if the key is there we expect the value to, to be there so it will be uh, one liner. If we want to return the key we can just return this data key. If it won't be there, it will just return undefined. And that's exactly what we want. If we want some specific logic, maybe throw an exception, then yeah, we need to check if there is uh, own property uh, for this key. And size, we'll just return this size, which we try to update uh, all along. And that's it. So let's launch it. And let's check. So we have an empty map. It's my map uh, with data. Uh, it's just a simple object. I'll zoom in. Size is zero. And map with two elements. Uh, it's equal my map. And data has key one with an assigned object and key, key two with another object. That's good. But size is zero. So we messed this up. Uh, this one was wrong. So if there is no property, we need to um, increment this, uh, the size. And once again, yeah, now, now the size is correct. Then we check if there is a key one, and it's true, of course. Uh, then we get by key two, and uh, the second object is returned. And then we delete the key, and size after deleting the key equals one. So I think it's correct. Of course, it's not all tests that we need to run, but more or less it's, it covers uh, our um, intentions. Okay, so we're done with the first implementation. Let's try to use the built-in map uh, structure. For using map, we already have the test 
but we don't need anything else because map is already uh, doing all the stuff. I'll zoom in. So we create the map and then we console log it. And then we set a key and map has the same, uh, same methods that we implemented ourselves in the previous example. So we set a key, we provide an object. And yeah, uh, we provide the second object for key two. We console log uh, the map itself and check the first key which has. We get the key with get, we delete it. And yeah, that's exactly the same except the size. Instead of a method, we're using the property just directly. And what do we have here? So empty map. We have map zero, it, it's uh, outputted in a different way. But yeah, all, all the assets are, are there. So map with two elements ha have a key, a key two and uh, appropriate values. We check key one and it's true. We get by key two and we have the second object. And the size after deleting the key two is zero. So it's exactly the same as we had before. Maybe the output is a bit different. I hope you like the map data structure because once again, it's extremely useful. I recommend you considering using it in different situations when it's appropriate. Usually the hardest part is to go through some other data structure like an array to fill in the map before using that. But when you have it, uh, yeah, the lookup is just instant and it will improve your algorithm efficiency a lot. So keep it in mind. We'll have more videos on uh, other data structures, so stay tuned and I hope it was useful.